Hi there, I'm Brandon, and here's the problem this video will explain and solve. When we add a collection of objects to the Blender Asset Browser and then drag to import the collection from the Asset Browser, the origin point for that collection is way off. We want the collection to be dragged here, and instead this empty object is here, and the collection is way over here. That's annoying. There are many reasons we would want to use collections in the Asset Browser instead of just individual objects. In my case, I have lights parented to this object that I want imported with the main object. When we create a collection in Blender, Blender doesn't know where the origin point of the collection is supposed to be. In fact, collections don't really even have origin points, but copies of collections have something called offset. By default, the collection offsets all the objects from the world origin point of its original file. So in the example I showed before, this empty that serves as the collection origin point is where the world origin was in the scene where I added the collection to the asset browser. So let's go back to the original file where this collection exists and where it was added to the asset browser. Let's select this collection in the outliner and in the properties panel, go down to the collection properties tab. That's this tab right here. This section labeled instancing is where we can fix our problem, but we will have to do it manually for every collection we add to the asset browser. Instancing refers to creating a copy of real things in Blender. It saves data storage and it's one of the terms I explained in this Blender vocabulary video, which I will link to below. When a copy or instance of this collection is created, which is what happens when we use collections in the asset browser, this is how far along each axis that copy is offset. By default, this is all zero. And the result is the collection's origin point is that of the world's origin point in the original scene, if that makes sense. So we need this offset to align with whatever we want our collection's origin point to be. Luckily, there are a couple easy ways to do this and they're found by expanding this arrow to the right here. The top two options are what will solve our problem. Set offset from cursor will place the collection's offset, and for all practical purposes, its origin point, to wherever the 3D cursor is currently. So we can place our 3D cursor here, choose this option, save the original file, and then the import of the object will look like this. That's a lot better. In my particular case, I wanted the collection's offset to be from the origin point of the main object in the collection. So I use the second option, set offset from object. This sets the offset to the origin point of and this part is important, the last object we selected before doing this. So select the object, then select the collection, and then choose set offset from object, and the collection's offset will now be the same as this object's origin point. It should be noted that if you change the object's origin point or move the object, it doesn't automatically change the collection offset. This will have to be done again. Yes, it's a very manual process. I could probably sum this entire video up like this. Collections imported from the asset browser will enter a scene as a copy or an instance of the original collection. That copy will be parented to an empty object which will serve as the collection's origin point. That empty object is placed relative to the world origin of the scene by the distances set up in this instancing tab under collection properties. And as I'm saying that, it sounds way more complicated than it should be. Just mess around with these settings on the collection to change the origin point for the asset browser. Subscribe for more Blender tips and tutorials. Check out the Blender vocabulary video below. And as always, stay creative.